Hi guys, in this video, I will be concealing and contouring with the new L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealing and Contour Kit. And it looks like this. And I'm going to be applying this product slash blending this product out with two new sponges from L'Oreal. Their Concealer Blender Sponge, which comes in packaging like this. And it looks like this. And their Contour Blender Sponge, which it looks like this. And it comes in packaging like this. And the last thing I'm going to be testing out from L'Oreal, of course, is their new Infallible Paints Blush Palette, which looks like this. Now, everything that I used off camera and everything that I'm going to be using on camera is listed below in the description area. All the products I'm going to be using on camera, I did put a link to them just in case if you want to purchase them and test them out for yourself. Now, for the Total Cover Concealing and Contour Kit, it looks like this. It comes with four shades. And it has a little sponge, which I kind of wish it didn't have the sponge. I wish it had another pan here of a deeper, darker contour because this kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit orangey. And I'm going to see if I can conceal and highlight with these shades. Now, there's that. And for their concealer blender sponge, it says on the packaging here, use the tip to apply the makeup on face, which I'm going to be testing that out. And then it says use the flatter side, which is right there, to blend and diffuse the product. And for their contour blender sponge, it says with the tip right here, draw contour and highlight lines using the tips of the blender, which is right here or right here. So I guess you could contour with this end, highlight with this end. And then it says for the flatter side, which is here, blend and diffuse the product. And I'm going to be doing that. All right, let's get started with this. And then I will show you the blush palette before I apply the blush palette. I'm going to take the tip here, like they said. And I'm going to go into this first shape. And I'm just going to go like this and draw with the tip. Now, this sponge does work for this, but... Let me see if I could just do it like this. Because I normally draw my triangles. And I don't want to mess up my eyeliner because I'm having a good eyeliner day. Okay, let's drag it down. Now, yeah, I wish the shade was lighter. I'm going to go back in here and I'm just going to... As for this product, it's rich, it's creamy. It is covering my flaws, so that's the good part. It's just, you really can't highlight with it. I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna apply it to where I would highlight my nose. As for the sponge, the sponge, I love it. I would recommend you get this little sponge. It fits in your hand, it gets to all those places that are hard to reach. I'm gonna go around my nose, go back into the palette, go around my nose. And I'm only using the first shade in this palette because I am very fair. All right. I mean, it's really covering up my flaws. You go right here. I got a post acne scar. <laughs> Which, it happens to the best of us. We're only human. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna go on my forehead because that's normally where I would go with concealer. I go on the side of my nose. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm just gonna go right here. But I really can see myself in the future applying this product with a little brush. Maybe it would have been cool instead of a sponge, they put a little uh, brush here. But I kind of wish they had a darker contour. But we will see if I'm saying something different in a few minutes. Now, I concealed and all the spots where I want to conceal. I want to conceal. I want to conceal. This sponge would be perfect, you know, when you like draw your brows. I already put product there and you want to go like this. That would be perfect to clean your brows up a little bit with this. Okay. Now, 
On to their contour blender sponge. It says take the tip on the packaging and apply the product. So we will see guys. I'm going in there and just swirling it around. You want to start from the top of your ear and go down here to where your eye meets. You can do the fishy face. <laughs> or just go like this. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, guys, I really do think that this is too orangey. But I will see. Oh, went too far up on my ear. Go right here. Now I'm going to go here. All right, guys. Now let's blend this product out. And I'm just going to go up like that. Now this sponge feels good and everything. I mean, it's doing what it needs to be doing. But do you really need to run out and get this sponge, truthfully? Because really awesome sponge from L'Oreal is their foundation blender sponge that I used today. And this is awesome sponge. You can go like this, go on the nose like this. I'm going to try their contour blender sponge with baking because people have told me to try this for baking. So I am going to try it for baking. I don't know if you can see it on camera and everything. It's just not doing the justice I wanted to do because I like a really deep contour. But I am going to be setting this cream contour and concealer with my NYX Highlight Contour Pro Palette, which I love this palette. Now I'm finished with using their cream concealing and contouring kit. I really do wish that it had a lighter shade so I can highlight a little bit and it could be more brighter. And I, honestly, as you guys could see, it really didn't show up the way I wanted it to. It kind of looks a little orangey. I wish they would put, instead of the sponge, I wish they would put a darker shade. Now, the next step that I normally would do is I would take my Cotty Air Spun Powder, which looks like this. <sighs> Woo! You gotta be careful, it can be a little messy. First, on one eye, I'm gonna take the concealer blender sponge. I'm just gonna go into the powder and I'm gonna go like this. Try with the sponge. I mean, you could bake with this, but it's not holding the product like my Real Techniques sponge does. I go on my forehead. And I just put a little bit more. Just like that. I'm going to kind of back it on there because the sponge is not picking up product. Now, while that's sitting, I'm going to go into my NYX highlight and contour pro palette. I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm going to go into the first shade here which is tan and I'm just going to tap the excess off and I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. I bring it down my jaw just like this. I do the sides of my nose just nice and lightly. I do the three down, three down. I go on my jaw like this and I drag it down a little bit. Just where I had that cream product and I want to set it. Now that I did that, I am going to take my e.l.f. contouring brush, which I only use this once so far and I'm in love with this brush. I put the link below if you guys would like to get it. I'm going to go and use the second shade here, which is Toffee, and then I'm gonna use the shade Sculpt, which is the third one. And I'm just gonna go like this with my brush in both those and tap the excess, and I'm just gonna deepen my contour. Go back in, those two shades, excess and deepen my contour. Do my forehead, and I 
go like this. And I just drag it up. Whenever you're putting products on your face, you always want to drag up. You don't want to ever drag down. You want to give more of a lifted effect to your skin. Now, I like a deep contour like this. Now, it might look a little bit crazy on camera, but guys, it's not as dark as you're perceiving it as. Now, I do my three again. Go on my jaw right here. And I like to go right here where my chin is. Because when you contour, you're basically shading areas you really don't want to draw attention to. And when you're concealing, you're concealing. And when you're highlighting, we want to draw attention to those areas of your face. This e.l.f. brush is awesome. I really would recommend you trying it. I put the link below, like I said already. Go on the sides of your nose with my e.l.f. contouring brush, just like that. And set that cream contour, and I go down here. This go like that. Down a little. Then I'm going to take my buffing brush and I'm just gonna buff that in there so there's no harsh lines. Which I love this brush for that. And this is Real Techniques buffing brush, and I put the link below. You guys would like to test it out for yourself. Okay. Now, the next trick I'm going to show you is with my Cotty Air Spun Powder. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring brush for this. And I'm just going to go into the powder like this. Tap the excess off because it can be messy. And hold the thing like this. You can hold the product. The product. Hold the... Oh, yeah. Hold the product just so powder does drop it doesn't go in your clothes and just go like this just where you had that contour so the contour will look more defined now I'm going to let that sit, and while that's sitting, I'm going to dust away the powder that's under my eyes with my e.l.f. kabuki brush, and I'm going to let that sit there a little bit, and I just go like this, dust away the powder. Now I'm going to take the Infallible Paints Flush Palette, and it comes with a little brush like this, but I'm not going to use the brush. Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm going to take the first shade, which is right there, which is the lightest shade, and I'm just going to go right here and drag it up, go right here, and I drag it up. I'm going to take the second shade and just tap the excess. I did that, I'm going to dust the powder away, and I'm going to take my e.l.f. HD powder, and I'm just going to take my e.l.f. kabuki brush, just like this, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go like this. This is normally what I do when I want to set all the products in place, and this this product here is perfect at making your product stay on and it really helps mattify. It's a really good powder. Now that I did that, I'm just gonna finish the steps. I was gonna go off camera and finish them, but I'm just gonna do them real quickly right now, right here. I'm gonna take my, where is it at? Let me go in here. Hold on, guys. I want to take my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm going to take the first shade right here, which is Ice Queen, in my NYX highlighting and contouring palette. And I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to go like that. It just is so pretty. I'm going to go here on my temples. Do it on my nose. Cupid's bow. All right. I am going to 
test out L'Oreal's Infallible Paints. Um, their Infallible Paints lip product. And I have it in 314 Spicy Blush. Now it says, which it comes with a dome applicator like that. It says take tip and outline your lip. Which I have many of these and I love them. They have such a good formula. They feel so good on the lips. They're not drying. They do last. I mean, after you eat and drink, they don't stay on. You do have to reapply it. It's, I am on a hunt right now for a product that lasts while you eat and drink. So guys, any lip products out there that you know that I can eat, drink, do anything with, and I can even go like this, it doesn't come off on clothing, or kiss somebody, please list it below for me in the comments because I really would like to know and I really would like to try it out. Or if there's a lip product you want me to buy and test on my channel, just list it below and I will do that for you. Now that's spicy blush. And the last thing I'm gonna use is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Setting Spray, which I love this stuff. So just go like this. Just like that. And I'm finished, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or you have any product suggestions that I should try out or you would like to see me do a review and demo on or test out for you, just list that below. And guys, please, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.